Okay, so I got a 2005 uh, F-250 with a 6.0 diesel in it. So I'm going to talk about the injection control pressures, which is the top left. The injection control pressure is when you go to start it, it has to build up your, your high pressure oil pump builds up the oil to 500 before the injectors will fire. And see, as you rev it and give it gas, that goes up. So. The other thing is, you got your turbo boost, which is nothing because we're not driving. Mine goes up to about 15 or so. It's easy driving. But when I rag on it, she'll get up to about 20 or so. There's your RPM going down the left side. Now, the middle side is one of the big ones. The reason I took this uh, chip thing out of my other truck and put it in here, I didn't have to marry it because you only get five Marys on the live wire, and then you got to send it in to be re booted or released from the company which I don't want to do so I brought in this truck so I could watch my engine oil temperature to see if I need an oil cooler one of the biggest things is you look at your coolant temp and then you look at your engine oil and if they're about 10 15 degrees then your oil cooler is fine but on my other truck you know my coolant temperature 180 200 but then my engine oil was 270 280 290 area so there's like 80, 100 degrees difference, so that tells you your uh, oil cooler is bad in that truck. That was a 2004. Top right, we got the battery voltage, is about 13. Vehicle speed, I put that in there, I didn't know what else to use. Uh, the Fickum, once you start the vehicle, it's got to be up to 47.5, 48 volts. Some guys are doing 54, 58 volts, whatever, I hear a lot of them burning out, but whatever your truck you can put in whatever you want but see how the uh, injection control pressure goes up I'll do a video for a minute here as I drive sorry one sec I gotta let that other car go in front of me I don't feel like having people on my ass but as you can see the injection control pressure has gone up 2200 You know, we're just easy driving. Pick them 47.5. But right now I got a 5,000 pound trailer I'm hauling, 2,000 pound dumpster, and then probably 1,000 to 2,000 pounds of trash in it. So, you know, I'm somewhere between 8,000 and 10,000 pounds of trailer on it. I just drove probably 20 miles with it like that, and then I stopped. So, that's so why I figured I'd do the video now. You can see the turbo boost on the left side in the middle at 9 10 we're doing 53 or whatever so i'll step on it we'll kick it down see the turbo boost goes up 16 but uh, you see the injection compressor go up 3400 3500 so now i let out the gas completely this drops back down but you got to have injection control at 500 in order for the truck to even fire up so if you put in a new high pressure oil pump, that's where you get your long start in that. So, but I hope this helps answer some questions. When you go to redo a vehicle, you might want to look ahead and see what else you can do while you got the whole top of the motor tour part almost. So that's why the reason I put this in here to see if it needed an oil cooler before I did an EGR delete and all that stuff on it because it's bad. So that's one reason. Um, this live wire you can do different configurations I have nine windows set up so I can see more you can do one two dozen whatever you want so and there's a dozen things to choose from so good luck hope this helps you if you like my video subscribe to it and thank you for watching